Society demands that criminals pay for their crimes, but they don't. Most frequently, they're locked away in prisons where everything's free and the taxpayers pay. To keep one prisoner in prison, fed, clothed, and sheltered, and guarded, costs taxpayers from fifteen dollars to $25,000 a year. You multiply that by 329,000 prisoners, you're paying a lot of money for their crimes. But let me tell you about John W. Except for an impulsive fight over a girl, John W. has been behaving himself after getting out of prison. The guy with 40 stitches didn't want to see John locked up again. The guy with the 40 stitches would rather have help paying his doctor bills. So the judge sentenced John W. to 18 months, but suspended the sentence if John W. would keep working, make $60 weekly payments to his victim, and contribute 50 hours of community work service, which he's doing. You see, in addition to righting a wrong, restitution, the criminal repaying his victim, gives offenders another experience, which is all too foreign to some young criminals, which is work. Nine to five routine is good discipline. Gives the offender less time to hang around with his old pals. Frequently teaches him a productive skill. And fatigue from work encourages him to sleep nights. Restitution's not a new idea since the Code of Hammurabi and the Old Testament. The Twelve Tables of Ancient Rome, restitution's been approved punishment for criminal conduct. Now, courts more and more are beginning to reinstate it. Good day.